definitely the uh, benchmark nifty flexes muscles in today's trade shows that it's in no mood to come down strong resilience and whatever happens to global equity markets as of now we are not turning down good evening everyone we are today on the 5th of october 2021 it's a tuesday evening 8:15 indian standard time and we had a brilliant move from the indian equity markets nifty up 123 points close to a percent's gain and manages to close above 17829 i use the word brilliant move very nice encouraging etc because uh, it was a crucial juncture it was a very important and crucial juncture for the index this is the 75 minute time frame we can clearly see how beautifully the short term supports held this recent fall it did lead to on the verge of a trend reversal the moving average is turned down then turned up and in yesterday's video i was mentioning that needs to take this level out and sustain and easily the possibility of 18k opens up it did really well it delivered that and it delivered that on a day where global queues were weak where the index opened weak i think it was a 60 70 odd negative points opening and uh, from that kind of an opening it kind of consolidated for the first couple of hours and then throughout the afternoon picked up beautiful momentum to take that previous high out and to manage sustain a positive close inching very close to its previous life highs the stock um, the index is very well poised to pick up momentum further for the rest of this week so that we will see this level which was the breakout level 17750 so 17700 17750 this will be the short term support that the index would like to respect in case it faces any short term correction this is the level ideally as long as this holds from a very short term perspective our probability of upsides continue to stay the first line is this one The good thing about today's move was also the support that came in from good quality counters. If we take a look at the indices, we can see energy, ONGC, Reliance, oil and marketing companies, all of them participated, especially Reliance. Of course, ONGC up 10%. When was the last time you saw something like that? The public sector enterprise stocks continues to do good. We had spoken about IT, Tech Mahindra, TCS, enforces it sale they can give us a bounce back and it did manage a short term bounce back as of now so overall participation and support from the sectors is definitely there the biggie bank nifty stand okay <clears throat> could have been better but no complaints it's not at least dragging the overall markets down it's holding on to its short term support so overall the close was impressive the move throughout the afternoon was impressive Bharti Airtel was the biggest gainer amongst the top 15 stocks Reliance HCL Tech TCS all held pretty well a little bit of weakness that came in from ICICI Bank and Kotak Bank ICICI Bank especially is a little bit of a concern let's see because it's moved down this congestion Tata Steel also is has slowed down after the recent two day move this is taking a shape like a like a rising wedge like a Uh, ascending triangle after the fall so this will be very very interesting to to see which way it extends whether it gives a breakout on the upside or follows through on the downside considering the pattern the chances of a downside is high sun pharma after the recent move consolidated come on it's completely all right the previous highs should act as short term supports for the stock so overall i think the index nifty delivered what it was needed from the bullish perspective and it delivered in style it delivered in style because it had a weak opening it had weak global queues behind it complete show of resilience um and a turn around close strong very good momentum coming in from large cap stocks overall the uptrend stays the momentum has picked up and we need to see for the rest of this week how much it can extend further up 
the possibility of a retest of 18k is very much on the cards of course but obvious levels comes close to this cluster there you go from where the index actually gave the first cut this was a short term small move then the consolidation and look at the size of this move look at the nature of this move so this cluster rather than this high this high is more important this zone which is around 17 894 17900 17900 on the downside over here 17 800 900 so that's where we are knocking right now so 17900 is something that we should work with from a short term resistance perspective 17750 17700 short term supports looks fine looks good participation from the stocks are there if the private sector banks pick up then it will support the index overall pretty well so maintain a bullish bias i was cautious and careful because of this juncture because the follow through move on the downside could have been severe but it seems like the index has taken care of that pretty well with today's move fingers crossed as we create this video global markets dow jones is up 421 points that's the kind of volatile movements that we have seen from the us market s uh, s p 500 is up over a percent 56 points look at the size of these candles recently big moves up and down all over the place SGX is up 50 points, which is pretty healthy. We'll see tomorrow morning how much gains it shows at the open and how we open. But overall, let's maintain the bullish bias. It's not bad to be a little careful and cautious once in a while. Let's maintain the bullish bias and predominantly look to trade on the long side. I hope you're doing the same and the market's treating you well as well. Till then, trade well, trade wise. Mm -hmm.